Hey guys, welcome to my next top three. Today I want to talk about some items you can grab right off the shelf at your grocery store that add tons of flavor whether you're eating healthy or clean. So a lot of times we think about a clean eating diet as being boring and flavorless. Absolutely not true. I think I've proved that in last week's video with the marinades that I've come up with and uh, today we're going to just talk about buying off the shelf. So the first one is your yellow mustard. Read your labels, always, always, always. But even this one, which is a store brand, uh, has nothing in it that's not natural. So you've got vinegar, water, mustard seeds, salt, turmeric, paprika, and spices. That's it. And adds tons of flavor. An acquired taste, I agree. But it does add a huge punch of flavor, um, whether you're adding it onto a chicken burger or something else. The second one I actually add in with Greek yogurt, a little dollop of that on my chicken, and some mild salsa. This is just all tomatoes and peppers and onions and nothing else in it, and it adds a ton of flavor, gives a little Mexican twist to your chicken. And last but not least, but most tricky, is ketchup. Now my ketchup is a little upside down here. Um, but if you buy organic or simply Heinz is a great one too, they do not add high fructose corn syrup to their product. It is tomato concentrate, distilled vinegar, sugar, salt, onion powder, spices, and natural flavorings, and that's it. And it adds, obviously, if you have a chicken burger or you have even a hamburger, you can add that to it and feel good about it. I use that when I make um, my barbecue sauce. I use that type of ketchup for that. and. Uh, so read your labels though. You need to be the informed consumer whenever you're buying anything. But it's possible to buy off the shelf to add flavor to your clean diet um, and just take those extra few minutes. And every so often reread your labels of the products that you've been buying because sometimes they do change up the ingredient list. So I hope that helps you guys out as we're in full swing of grill seasoning. If you have any questions, let me know. Do you have an idea for my next top three? I still have plenty of ideas to come, but I want to give you what you want. So feed me some ideas. I will definitely include it next week. Thank you guys, and have a great week.